Hey YouTube, I'm here with a different kind of video than one I've done in the past. Um, this is a collection video. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to be. Hopefully not too long because I know nobody wants to sit through anything too long. They'd rather just see stuff. So I'll try to go through as much as stuff as possible. But um, this is my Pascal Siakam um, collection. We're right in the middle of the NBA playoffs. And this is when players really start to pop and you notice their prices go up. Um, you've seen it. Derek White's had a good series um, against the Nuggets. His stuff is slowly on the rise. Lillard just had a, a big game and a big series against Westbrook, and his stuff is taken off. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little under the weather. I think it's allergies too. Um, so I feel like I got a lot of stuff in my throat. Um, and another player that's in that, and I've been big on him all season, is Pascal Siakam. So... Um, I got a lot of this stuff for super cheap. I, I watched him at the beginning of the season when I was getting this stuff for dollars, um, and it's really taken off. Um, I wanted a player who I thought was going to be good in the league, um, all-star potential. I think Pascal's got the most improved player. He's got a great story. He plays for a good team that is going to contend for um, possibly a championship, um, and in the depending on what Kawhi does. Um, if he leaves, Pascal is definitely their their number one. Um, so just going through here real quick, I won't tell you the prices on all these, but I mean, I guess if I got a killer deal compared to what it is now, um, just gonna take you quickly through all of them. I uh, got a tie-dye um, to 25 patch rookie. Um, back here, there's a, this is a book from Playbook. This is a gold, so 10 of 10. Um, let me move it over. A rookie book, patch book. I wish those patches were better, but they're not. And then the last one over here in the corner is just a absolute on-card auto. Um, hopefully you can't hear this little dog in, in my backyard. Um, so just going through some of these. Uh, this is the, the Panini Day or the Father's Day. Um, threads. Uh, red, white, or not red, white, blue, but uh, multicolor. This is, I can't remember what version this is, but it is to 149. This is Noir, uh, number one of 79. So Revolutions, this is Cosmic to 100. So 10 of 100. Continuing with Revolution. Um, don't remember what that is. Infinite, Fractal, I know this one Astro looks like I have a few. I think this is a Sunburst. Yeah, Sunburst, and this one is to 75. Uh, Pascal Siakam Studios. Uh, this is just a regular base. I actually think I just opened a random pack of this, and this is pretty much the only one I've pulled. All these other ones I was buying for a few dollars and because I just wanted somebody that I could say I had one of the the best collections, or try to, I guess. I believe this is to 99. Uh, it's an artist proof. Maybe it's nothing. I can't remember. Um, Court King, I only have versions one and two. Um, three still out there. I had a chance at four. It was a little bit more than I wanted to pay. Um, so I have versions uh, one and two. I have a whole lot of mosaic and more mosaic will come up in the back so or in the back in the end of the video i have the two base uh a red version and the blue version i do not have the black version um, which is the one of one and we'll get to more of those later so going through hoops now this is a blue to 75 Let's see the number on there I don't know what this one's called, but also to 75. Looks like a teal to 49. Red to 49. Um, maybe a foil to 99. And optic, this is, looks like a red to 99. This is a blue to 49. Pink, I believe this is to 25. Yep, 25. See my reflection there. Um, hollow, optic, 
Uh, this is the checkerboard version. You can see the checkerboard and checkerboard was written on the back. I believe these are retail. Um, purple, not numbered. This is Don Russ, so press poof, press poof, press proof to 25, 299, 99, fresh paint. Uh, getting into some autos now, fresh paint. Um, here's an optic, I actually have two of those. And then along with that, Court Kings also have the um, other version of the press paint, press paint, fresh paint. One and I don't know. So there's the two ones of those. Make sure I get these going the right direction. Continuing on, um, this is a select auto rookie. All these are rookies too. So the thing with Pascal is he was a, a super late draft pick. Um, he had a lot of rookie stuff, but since his rookie year, outside of some patches and some other things, and of course the heavy base of Prism, um, you're not going to get a lot of second year stuff of his third year, or um, I guess he's only in his third year now. Um, so all these, all these are rookie cards. Um, this is to 49. I don't remember the exact wording of it, but it's the die cut and um, rookie roll call, no number. This one, um, this was actually my first card that I got when I started hearing about him, watching him. I was like, I got to pick up something, and I believe I got this for like $5, including shipping. I don't know exactly remember, but it was somewhere around there. Um, watched him more, and then just I went, as you can see, maybe a little bit crazy. Um, here is the totally certified. I have the orange to 60, blue to 99, red to 199, and I have more that we'll get to later. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Prism. So I picked up, of course, a, a few silvers, and then I got a lot of low-numbered parallels for... I mean, this this is to 75, purple to 75. I, I don't know, 10, 15 dollars. I think I paid for this. Um, there's one silver. There's the blue wave. Um, again, I probably oh that's to 99. I don't know how much I paid for that. Maybe 20 dollars. Um, this is the orange to 49. I do remember I paid 15 for that one because it was a buy it now and I just picked it right up. Um, this is the Starburst. I think that's what it's called. And the green and then another silver. So those are the two silvers I have in just top loaders. I got one graded. We'll, we'll get through the graded cards in a second. Uh, so these next ones, um, kind of a little bit bigger uh, cards. Let's mix up what's in the back. You're probably, I don't know, maybe tired of looking at what's back there just mix up the background here so we will go with a prism theme um so i got a lot of a lot of golds and other things um in here uh spectra this is to 49 12 of 49 I, got this one. This was another one of the first ones I got. I think I got it for like $10. Silhouette. Pretty sure I got this one for like $8. Rookie patch. That's a, those are kind of sought after the, not a great patch, like nothing special about it. Just red, but has a large patch. Uh, gold standard to $199. Um, Panini preferred. This is to 50, the, I think it's called Unparalleled, which, um, and I don't know if you can tell on, I wasn't sure when I got it. Again, I was just buying everything that I could get my hands on because it was, it got a little out of control. But I got this card in the mail. I was like, man, that's a good looking card. It just, um, it shines nice. It's an on-card auto. Um, the pictures that I saw on eBay definitely didn't give it justice. I mean, I had no idea what it was really before, so. I was happy with that one. 
impeccable. Um, don't have the Jersey uh, auto, but I do have the auto to 99. This is a uh, artist proof international ink. I guess not technically a rookie card, but a rookie year card to 49. Select, this is the pink parallel. I believe they're to 15. Yeah, nine of 15. So the select pink parallel. Um, I thought that one would be a little bit more. I saw another one just recently go up on eBay. I think it sold for around 40. Um, Optic Aqua, I believe that's what it was. 22 of 25. Getting some big stacks here. I don't want them to fall over. Uh, the Artist Proof of Hoops. 10 of 25. So here I, I've got some uh, gold. So anytime I could get a gold, because I just figured, you know, golds are going to pop up. There's only 10, and when they're there, you better take them. So this is just the base um, gold absolute, 7 of 10. Here is the uh, Panini Threads rookie autograph, 9 of 10. You can see the 9 of 10 on there. Some of these might not look as good. I do. I've seen others. They put the uh, penny sleeve over so the front doesn't get scratched. I guess I just fell in line and did that as well. Of course, it kind of doles up the card, but I guess it protects it. This is the King version, uh, 9 of 10. I think I got this for like $12. Um, this is the Camo. I just like camo. I don't know why I have a thing for, for camo, so I pick up camo cards. They're numbered to 25, 10 to 25, um, totally certified. And then the gold. Um, recently, I've, I always keep an eye out. There's there's another one of these listed on eBay for about 75. It's, not, it's been sitting there for a while, but all it takes is him to have one big game and his stuff will take another step up, and I think it goes beyond this year. I think he's got definitely much more room to grow. If you haven't heard his story, um, definitely check it out. He's only been playing basketball since he was like 16 years old. He just turned 25 like last week or something. Um, way more room to grow. Um, so this one, I am excited to have this flawless rookie. Not, I guess, technically a rookie card, but a rookie year card. Um he didn't sign any. He doesn't have any uh, patch autos. He only has patches. I had the chance at the green version for $40, and I had it, and it got sniped from me, and I just wasn't really paying attention. Uh, who knows what, what else was going on. This one came back up. I mean, I didn't pay as much. I only paid, like, I think 30 something for it, but $40 for the patch green definitely missed out so getting into some um rookie patch autos um i'm a big fan of noir here's the black and white version uh horizontal to 35 just uh just like a noir these are this is actually one of the the first um the second card i got but i got i picked up a noir just because i like him i wasn't planning on getting all these until i heard more of a story and looked at his ceiling and figured if he got big I wouldn't I would never have a chance at a collection like this with having even prices of what they are now um, I, I'm on a, a card budget and um, like many of us are and so I had to find somebody who I I thought would pop uh, which I know a lot of people do and I, I feel like Pascal has room to grow and he's done well this year cornerstone um, like this card a lot this is to 25 um yeah the quad patch nice looking patches i wish those two were different but i like those two nice nice thick patches um we got a couple immaculates so this is the this isn't i guess technically a rookie card but it's the rookie year sneaker swatch signature so have his um, 
shoe on there, signed, only 30 of them. Um, as you can see down there at the bottom, 16-17, that's when he was drafted, so it's definitely a rookie year card. Uh, really like this one. Uh, this is a uh, jumbo patch from Immaculate. I guess, again, not technically is RPA, but... Um, 16, 17, so rookie year. Again, these patches, not the best patches, but what can you do? Um, here's the Immaculate RPA to 99. Uh, I guess this would be his true RPA, seeing that it's numbered to 99. I don't ever know how people classify it, but Immaculate. And then I picked up the... Uh, acetate version uh, the the fact that I have the penny sleeve over it and there's actually it's actually in a actually actually uh, in another plastic to protect the one touch it's really dull um, but looks better in person this is to 43 so if you don't know about immaculate they usually do the acetate version to their numbered jersey so he's got 43 of those and then a uh, true rpa of to 99 um here is one card i got it graded the thing that knocked me down is centering i got an eight on centering and i have no idea why it looks fine it has something to do with like the space here and over here in the corner i believe i've looked at other stuff um but eight eight and a half i've almost this grading pissed me off enough that I've thought about cracking it out um, but this is to 25 so yeah I mean it would just the grading almost ruins the look of the card just because outside it got fine grades outside of the centering which to the eye it looks fine like some centerings are really bad but this one to the eye it looks fine but I mean, it is a prism to 25, so, um, yeah. Here's the other one. I got um, this centering, got a 9.5. So, that's the only thing, like, I look like it's a little bit fatter down there at the bottom. And then maybe over here on the side. But to knock it down to an 8, I thought that was kind of brutal. This is a silver. I got its 9. Um... It got a Surface 8.5. Don't know why. I've looked it over. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, I think I actually talk about these few cards. Um, I have a video about grading. Check it out if you haven't. I, I don't know. What can you do? Uh, this is the Mosaic. Uh, Prism Mosaic. to Camo to 25. Again, centering knocked me down. Only got a nine. Uh, there's to 25 of 25. One of these, I must have ran right past it, was um, to uh, his, his jersey number. It's a jersey number hit, if people are into that. Two more here, wrapping up in less than 20 minutes. Uh, here's the mosaic gold. Finally, a decent grade. 9.5. I was pumped about this. Again, I know Mosaic is not extremely collectible, but you know, at any time that could change. Uh, they still, uh, they haven't come out with it this year, but who knows if they continue to make it and it gets hot. Some of the older stuff sometimes picks up, but I mean, a gold Pascal nonetheless. Uh, my other gold is the Select Auto. The Auto got a 10. I was actually, this is a, a grading I could agree with. It did have some minor, like, scuffs on the side to give it an 8.5 on edges. Um, but I wanted this one and then the other gold um, slabbed anyway, just for extra protection. I mean, grading of the Auto is a 10. He He does sign really well, so... That usually helps, um, but I, I love the uh, the select rookie autos. 
And I believe my last one in here is the National Treasure um, Vertical RPA. This is the, I don't know if it's the bronze or the red version. I don't know what they call it, but it is to 25. You can kind of see right there, 10 to 25. I'm stoked to have this card is, I mean, National Treasure is the, the RPA that everyone goes after. However, when I look at it, I had the chance at the vertical one for I believe like 125. <clears throat> and I don't know why I passed on it, but I did. Again, I was doing, when you get some of these cards for under $10, um, you know, do you think dropping $125 or 150, whatever it was, maybe using 200. You're like, I don't know if I can do that. Um, but I mean, now that card's going for 12 to 1500. Um, I mean, this one is still, I mean, I am happy that I have this. It is, it's a lower print run, but it's not as, um, sought after the vertical ones aren't as much as the horizontal. Um, but yeah, that is my Pascal Siakam collection. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to show off my collection before I think he earns the most improved player, before he has a um, great series against the 76ers, I believe. And, you know, he can make more of a name for himself there. If you haven't um, checked out my other videos, check them out. I got a lot of other videos going over different things, opening up some stuff, showing off different collection. I Make sure you subscribe, like comment. Um, I love interacting with other collectors. Um, I'm going to come out with, I have my other guy I collect is Lillard. So uh, I have quite a few Lillard things. Uh, just being here, I'm, I'm in Portland, huge Blazer fan, and I've always been a huge Lillard fan. So I'm going to have to come up with a, a Lillard collection as well, but I wanted to show off my Pascal one first. So again, like, comment, subscribe, uh, let me know what you think, and until next time, keep collecting.